Senator Husako, Senator Platt, and Senator Dawson, thank you for taking the time. This is a very, very historic day. I want to start with a question. Senator Husako, so you've been working very hard on this. Did you ever see, did you ever think you would see this day? Absolutely. I'm an optimist, so I know there was a lot of dissent and opposition in terms of getting this done, but we believe that it was the right thing to do. We believe that in 2019, Canadians uh, across the country have to see what parliamentarians do on their behalf. Okay. Uh, Dennis Dawson, I want to ask you something. You have a distinction. You were the first MP to stand and give a full speech when television was brought in, in back in 1977. You, your thoughts on this? Well, I saw the, I saw the positive influence it had on Parliament, because I was there before they brought in the cameras, and then I saw how parliamentarians started acting differently when cameras were on them. And n not that we're not that we're senators behaving badly, but we will behave. We will behave probably in a more uh, organized fashion starting tonight. Really? Okay, um, Senator Platt. It's no secret you are a skeptic about this whole endeavor, this whole enterprise. Uh, you probably see it differently. Well, I do agree with uh, Senator Dawson about the acting. I think we may start acting in our chamber tonight. And mm -hmm. so I guess that's one of my skepticisms about it. I believe that the majority of the Senate's good work is being done at committee. That has been televised for some time. And uh, however, we live in a democratic society mm -hmm. and I do support a democracy. I support the majority that wanted it. And uh, so I will try to work with it. Uh, to the best of my ability, as will everybody else, and the jury is out on whether or not it will be positive or not. Okay, I want to get to other points, but what's your concern? Uh, that the, the criticism of the, ha the House of Commons question period, that it becomes theatrics, it becomes a bit of a zoo? I do not agree that the House of Commons question period is a very good event, and I am afraid that ours may uh, develop the same way, and so that is one of the concerns I have. Uh, much of the debate that's going on in the chamber, when we go through our order paper, as we do in the chamber, a little differently than the House, people out there don't know uh, what it is that we're doing, and so uh, I'm not sure that it will have the same impact as it does in House of Commons. Senator Husako, so you, you said that this is a democratic institution that has to be accessible. Let's be frank, I mean, I think a lot of people point to the bad days of the Senate spending scandal, the bad publicity that was surrounding the Senate. Did that provide a huge impetus and momentum to this movement? Because you and Senator Dawson have been working on this for quite a while, but was that when things started to move along in this, in this project? Look, every institution has its ups and downs, and, and obviously we went through some down times. We worked very hard to, to make sure that we're accountable, we're transparent. Uh, and I, I believe the good work that the Senate has been doing and is recognized vis-a-vis -vis our committee work, which Senator Pledge just mentioned, is recognized because actually Canadians get to see their work. And I'm confident that once Canadians see the kind of debate, vigorous uh, inquiries and review that goes on in the Senate chamber, Canadians will start understanding that there's some added value to this institution as well in terms of our democratic process. Is this about winning back credibility, relevance, uh, and support from the Canadian public? Look, the reality of the matter is all parliamentary institutions, like I said, have their ups and downs. That's democracy and it's far better than any alternative. And I think Canadians have to keep that in mind all the time. And there's far better work that's been done over the last 152 years in the Senate of Canada than there has been negative work. And I think they'll get an opportunity to see it live starting tonight. Senator Dawson, one of the issues was cost. It was going to cost, the estimate was almost a million dollars to install cameras. You found an, art, an artful way of getting around that expense in this new building. Well, some of the resistance was financing. Since we were moving and it was going to be in, it could be included in the uh, construction of this new chamber, it was not an issue really because in the whole budget of, of, uh, of Parliament and the Senate, it's really a drop in, in the bucket. That being said, there's no price to pay for transparency. There's no price to pay to do things in public. So I don't think, I was, I, I was never impressed by the dollar sign. Now that it's not an issue, I'm happy that it's over with. But tonight we'll start seeing people People will start seeing us, and we behave. We behave well. Yes, there might be some theatrics. There already is some, so it won't change that much. But I think it will be an improvement on the past, and that's part of the progress. Because I agree with Senator Sakis. 150 years of Canadian history, the Senate was not the biggest problem this place has ever had. Um, who, two of you are on the uh, Board of Internal Economy, the Committee for Internal Economy? Uh, yes. Senator Platt, Senator Dawson. When will you know that this place is, that this new endeavor is working? Well, I, I simply think that we're going to have to uh, get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and watch some of the debates in the Senate, and, and that will tell us whether it's working. I don't think uh, the Board of Internal Economy will necessarily be the, the yardstick to see 
uh, whether it's working or not. As Senator Dawson, I agree, cost will not be the 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 yardstick as to whether it's whether it's working or not. So we'll we'll find out whether the public likes it, uh, and we'll find out whether or not uh, CPAC will be wanting to televise a little more uh, rather than a little less. We're committed to it. Uh, w- when we when we when we went through this in the other place, there were tapes done. You know, you'll see uh, uh, what's it called. Uh, CBC, no, it's René de Far in French, all right? In English, it would be 22 minutes. This hour is 22 minutes. Somebody's going to take those tapes and try to make an issue of it. It will force senators to behave. But that being said, uh, there is a tape, if you want to go on YouTube, of senators behaving badly. Because when we started broadcasting committees, some senators did behave badly. But after a while, they started realizing that they were being taped and they were being seen. And the, the, the change... It occurred in the committees like it's going to occur here. Okay, last question. What will the barometer be for when this, uh, when you know whether this is working or not? I think it's very simple. I believe that when Canadians discover that the parliamentary system in Canada has two chambers, we're bicameral system, and the Canadians will realize that through the Senate they will be able to propel their ideas and their views to the government of Canada, and we can become the voice for those minorities in certain regions of the country that are not necessarily getting their message across through the House of Commons or through their elected representatives. That's when we will know that the Senate has really reached its place and time. Okay, I want to thank all three of you. We will watch with great interest. I know people will be watching on CPAC, both live streaming and in tape delay. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you very much. Thank you.